Hello, I am Vidi of Video Games for Fun, and to be honest, I don't know whether to call this a review or a discussion, or but just a series of thoughts that I just want to get off my chest. I'm fairly late to this party, in fact nearly a year late, but I have tried out the free demo, or prologue, of The Return of the Tentacle. Let's provide some context quickly, shall we? Quite some time ago, I have done a review of David Tentacle on my channel. The link to that is in the description or at the end screen. And I think it has been said by many that we want a sequel to David Tentacle, but that may have come more so from retrospective reviews of a game where people like really like a game, and it's like, yep, yeah, let's have a sequel. And there may have been demand for a sequel, but it's like, la 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 what la 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 la. But having played the free demo Return of the Tentacle, is it possible, is it possible we may get a sequel to Day of the Tentacle? That awesome point-and-click adventure game where you control three protagonists through three time periods to stop a tentacle from taking over the world? Maybe not. We've only got, what, this prologue and nothing's really happened since then. There's been no crowdfunding as far as I know. I don't even know the developer's Twitter, so I can at them with this video. But let's talk about that after I've just briefly discussing what I actually think of this prologue. Now, I also have not played the remastered version of David Tentacle. I've only got the original in my collection, so to speak. But the animation and colours and whatnot, and obviously the HD-ness of it, goodness me, I'm going to talk in gibberish for this video now, is very similar to the remastered version as far as I can tell. And whether you like that or not is up to you. I do prefer the charm of the old graphics, the way the characters are animated and they move in that. But regardless of the similarities to the remastered edition of David Tentacle, it is still very faithful to David Tentacle, which means not only will we see all the familiar characters, you know, Bernard, Hoagie, Laverne and all that, but also some nice Easter eggs, and not just from Maniac Mansion or David Tentacle, but some other things as well, which I'm not going to spoil for you. Also, the music. Uh, the music is decent. I don't have much to complain about it. But the voice acting? Well, this is a fan-made game. And the game actually acknowledges it as such. But this game was made in people's spare time. But some of the voice acting... I'm sorry, it's... I'm really sorry. Oh my god. It's not all terrible. Bernard doesn't sound too bad, as does Dr. Fred. But Laverne... Oh my gosh, she sounds terrible. She sounds terrible. <laughs> but as for the, the gameplay, I mean, this is the good old point-and-click adventure game gameplay from the original, right? Well, what I do like that you still cannot, you know, die, you know, if you stuff up something, or, you know, the game prevents you from making mistakes or whatnot, it just tells you, oh, I can't do that. Although there is, I think, one moment we actually can die in the game. But as long as it's just one moment, at least we're not going back to the old adventure games, like the really old adventure games where you can die every five seconds because there's so many mistakes you can make. Now, that's okay. I like the only the puzzles get you stuck in the game, and that's it. And that was in David Tentacle, and it's pretty much in this one as well. Some of the puzzles are a bit hard to figure out, which is, I guess, a bit annoying. But there's still some funny moments in it. It's probably not as funny as the original David Tentacle, but there are some funny moments in the game. The difficulty of the puzzles does make one wonder if the sort of... Not just the adventure games, but also the style of puzzles is maybe outdated in a way where the puzzles just have to be logical and modern, you might say. I think Pushing Up Roses, which is a channel I sometimes watch, mentioned Moon Logic or something. This is unscripted, of course. So Moon Logic, did David Tentacle use Moon Logic? Does Return of a Tentacle Prologue use lo Moon Logic? The puzzles were generally fine. The prologue itself is not that long. Um, and there are even achievements of the game, including speedrunning. And I have got one of the speedrunning achievements. And because I usually resort to just speedrunning for the original Day of a Tentacle in the first place, well, speedrunning for a not fairly long prologue for Return of a Tentacle was fun. And also with all the puzzles and moving the characters around and all that, there was a bit of a freshness to the game. Sure, you do alternate be between choosing three different protagonists, but the way they interact also just makes the whole thing seem a bit more fresh, like an elaboration, like a sequel. Not just like, oh, um, let's stick three characters in three different time periods and have them do stuff. Though that may be what happened if a full game gets made, but is this game getting made? Is Again, is there crowdfunding? 
As far as I can tell, there is no crowdfunding. People are asking questions. Is there going to be crowdfunding? Is this game going to be finished? Should there be a Day of the Tentacle sequel? Or was Day of the Tentacle, let alone Maniac Mansion, for one shots as they are? And, you know, if you haven't played Day of the Tentacle, maybe you can just play the remastered version. Is that where we should leave it? Honestly, if a Day of the Tentacle sequel could be anything like this and stick as true to the spirit of the original game as possible, I think it should be. Even if it takes well over a year or the spare time and maybe also hopefully get some good voice acting in there too or it's a fan made game so maybe I expect a bit too much even with voice acting but that's just my thoughts I honestly think with that style and that sort of gameplay David Tentacle can get a sequel rather than nope just leave it alone just leave it alone David Tentacle had a shot and it's still a good game at least to me but I now actually want a David Tentacle sequel if it's anything like Return of the Tentacle. But of course, that's where I leave the comments to you. Now, your homework, and you can't respond to the comments on this to your homework, no, that's alright, you can, is to play the Return of the Tentacle prologue. The link to the website where it's for both the PC and Mac is in the description. And I want to know what you think of it. Are there any other games that you wish there were sequels for? Or are there demos of, you know, fan-made demos of sequels or whatnot, and you wish those sequels would be a thing? Or should David Tentacle just be left as it is? Or uh, point-and-click adventure games like David Tentacle, Athena the Past. And by the past, I don't mean, you know, going back into the past with a time machine, right? But that's just one excited David Tentacle player's person's thoughts. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Well, not hear, read. Read what you have to say. So have a good day or night or whatever it is. And now if you excuse me, I'm off to dream of myself stopping Purple Tentacle from taking over the world again. Thanks for watching.